property is rated PG. Parental guardians is advised. So you bring me chairs or something like this for you? Oh no, mommy, I said pancakes, not eggs. You had pancakes yesterday. Yang 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 egg. Let's see if you can fry one. And you better finish everything then. Please give um, Michelle some. Bring it. Password. God. Esther. Yeah. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? In our bedroom. What are you doing with my phone? Who has time for your phone? I was reaching out for my checkbook to send. Wait. What time did you get back? What? What time did you get in last night? What kind of question is that? I don't know. Maybe 11, 11, 30, 12, maybe even 12, 30. I wasn't checking time. I that late. Hey, Jesus, you were not checking time. Married man, you were not checking time. I say you can stroll in any time you like and leave. You're not checking time. What's the meaning of that? OK. And even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me, so why did you ask? Why wouldn't I ask? Because tomorrow you will go and tell your friends that, ah, my wife, she doesn't even bother. She doesn't ask me. Next thing, 12 o'clock, uh, we turn to 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Before you know it, you will take the whole day and won't even bother to show up. Oh, really? Mm, really. So thank you for asking, Madam Asker. If you like, come back this day and wait to sign me. I'm sure that's the baby's... Uh, Students, um, school bus. What's for breakfast? Coming right up. That's it. Esther, what is this? Spaghetti and eggs. Spaghetti and what? Who eats this heavy in the morning? Okay, fine. Just eat the eggs. You know, I can't. I was going to make you your usual tuna sandwich, but we ran out of tuna. I didn't know that. And so, are you going to eat or not? Should I take it? What are you planning with your daughter? Everybody demanding what they want to eat this morning. Like, I don't get it. Next is Gabriella saying she, she has to eat pancake. Then the uh, papa. I don't even have time for this stress. I got the 
jump. <laughs> I pulled the jump. Oh my god. Jump! I pulled the jump. <laughs> Yay! Thank God. This is the jump. So I must add that I feel very excited and honored to work for this prestigious company. And I promise I'll never sleep on the job. Who told you you got the job? So why am I here, sir? You are here because I want to relay the news, talking to you face to face. Huh? You are the one of the brightest candidates we interviewed. A few mistakes and the choices made to lose the job. You've got to be kidding me! You mean I came all the way from Lekki to Magodo to here I didn't get a job? Why are there phones? Or something called text messages? Even WhatsApp! When a baby needs a candy, do give it to the baby. Ah, you are a wicked man. This is wickedness! Security. This is wickedness! We secret, let me have my say. Can't walk here. Can't walk here. This is wickedness! Would you respect? Come on. You Which respect? That. Leave me! Excuse me. Uh, you are a wicked man, oh! No. It's not this madam. Lagos. You meet your Waterloo. Madam, Leave me! Madam, go away, please. Thank you. Shameless we, we man! Do. Don't push me, you. Come up my, Come up with my compound. Don't push me, oh! Come up with my... Say how she be. Say how she You and your girl, they mad. Ah. After making me come all the way from Lekki. My yoga? God save you, say my organ never come down. If my organ come down, your, your face goes scatter. Your organ are 419. You delete for Lekki, call him a good deal. Useless people. We have to go catch you and finish. Just on a day. You know that I get transport to go out? Yeah, come here, I'll give you 15 naira. Give me 15 naira. See officer, no belt, no cap, see your shoe. Come out for my yeah, compound. Yeah. Come out for my compound. See how she be. No, so. This woman is driving me crazy. She's, she's running me mad. I tell you. I mean, just because of one chop and clean mouth, and then I have a child outside. That's why she's threatening for divorce. You did what, Gina? Please, Amaka. That idiot asked for it. I mean, how can he make me go <sighs> all the way to Magodo for a job I wasn't getting? Why? Because he asked me to sleep with him and I bluntly refused. But you shouldn't have attacked him. You should have just walked away like the classy lady that you are. I beg, I beg, I beg. Mm -mm -mm. Stop talking crap. If it was you, you'd do worse. Caleb, it sounds easy to you. But I did warn you about all this reckless, condomless sex you were having with girls. All sorts of girls. Girls you don't even know where they've been. But you wouldn't listen. I mean, we're talking pregnancy now. What if this was HIV Ta. or something more severe? Ta. For this Nigeria, it's a man's world. And the woman has no choice but to concur. Caleb, so you still have this ridiculous mentality? Bro, it's not about being ridiculous, man. I'm, I'm, I pay. The rent, I pay the kids' school fees, I pay, I pay, I pay for, for service charges, I pay, I pay for everything. <laughs> oh, babe, I'm tired. I don't know what to do. Only this month, I have gone for three different job interviews. I have not even entered the middle of the month. Ah, Abbasimbong, this one just did it for me. Ha, <laughs> Regina. No. You are no longer going for any more job interviews. I know to again. No, 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 this. You can't give up like that. Now you can't. You won't know how it feels because you have a job. Have a job? So you think working in an insurance company is having a job? Sure, you know they give us targets. And one little mistake, I am out of there. Always policing me around, nagging me, silly. Now, <laughs> why shouldn't I cheat? Caleb, let me tell you something. This has nothing to do with needing job or keeping them busy. Try not having the job. 
five years. Amaka, after five solid years studying pharmacy in the university, this is what I get. It would have been wiser to save up all that money that I spent wasted in that private university and then invest it in a business. Mm -mm. Like the popular saying goes, if you think education is expensive, then try ignorance. Maybe I should take your idea. Exactly the message I've been trying to pass, Gina. Gina, you are naturally gifted seamstress. Eh? Designer. Mm -hmm. Auntie. Fashion designer. You're even lucky I didn't call you Bioma or, or Itilo. <laughs> you have the money to talk. Me, I know one laugh. Women are like that. You know why? I'll prove it to you. My own wife is productive. She does business. She makes money. Yet, she has become a CSI agent in my house. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what she is. She smells my clothes for women's perfume. Each time I walk through the door and take my clothes off, she checks them for lipstick stains. She's always prying around. Looking into my phones while I'm not looking. Taking my calls while I'm not there. All sorts of exasperating things. Do you know the number of times I've had to change my phone password in recent times? Three times. Three times. Yeah. And she's showing no sign of stopping. Well, let me bust your head. Do you know the one that got me so terribly pissed recently was that I discovered that my wife has registered her fingerprints on my own phone to have limitless access to the phone 24-7-365. You think you've seen anything? My brother, you are in heaven. <laughs> I will tell you. That woman needs, she needs to be put on check. I mean, no woman should do that. Look who chose to speak. Put her wife in check. The way you've put your own in check. <laughs> You're not the one lamenting a while ago there. Tell me, how do I put her in check? How? No, how you tell me? Let's hear from you. You have to start sewing again. Talk to Nonso. He can give you money to start up. <sighs> then, when office work is ready for you, it will come. That's true. Do you know who's not spoken to me? Let me call him. The Cora guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just a moment. Let me take this call. Hello, baby boy. Hi, sweetness. How are you? Where have you been all day? I should be asking you that question. Where have you been? Uh oh, you got me always. Um, I, it's been a very hectic day for me. I was with those guys trying to sort out that deal. I mean, the Cora guys, remember? The one with Cora Motors. Yeah, so I was with them all through and... Um, mm -hmm. Tell me you got it. They are actually asking for 25 units of those cars right now. Whoa. This is serious. That's so good. Finally, you have my time now. Oh, come on. I always have your time now. Which one is have your time now? So, am I seeing you tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Oh, yes, definitely we are. Okay, see you tomorrow, baby. And I'd love to see you in that lovely red lingerie's I can't just resist. You. Whatever. <laughs> I sure will. See you later then. Bye, baby. What is this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a mask. What? Some beauty mask. Beauty mask. So, where are you coming from? What sort of a question is that? 
Eh? What's going on here? Where exactly in a, a, a co hotels was the conference held at? Now, sir, I'm asking you a question. Am I being policed here or what? I don't get it. You left here at 7 a.m. You're just breezing it. What's the matter with you? Where are you coming from now? So it's a very simple question. Where are you coming from? No, sir? You know, when you want to start your trouble, I know you, you just fake amnesia. Didn't I text you personally, informing you that I'll be having a drink with Caleb after the conference? What else do you want me to do? You're a liar. You see, now you're not just a cheater, you're a liar also. <clears throat> like, I am really getting sick and tired of your lies, no, so. Do you know that last week was, was Gabriella's opening day? Were you there? No! Michelle's uh, PTA meeting. Even Francis, that we both know, have a job 9 to 5 and still manages his business. What's there? You have your own business. What's your excuse? Woman. Why were you not there? Woman, please and please again, I beg you in the name of God. I just want to eat. Take a shower. Can you sleep? <laughs> You're a joker. And instead you... of you fixing me dinner, here you are. Raining fire, hellfire and brimstone on you. Esther, if you want to eat, you go and make food for yourself. You don't craze. You just parade like this place is, is, is a hotel. You breathe in, you breathe out. Rubbish. Well, this place actually looks better than I expected. <laughs> The thing is just supposed to be my side hustle hmm. to support my, you know, catering services. I'm, I'm quite surprised myself. Hmm? I wish I'm like you. You know, my husband thinks I am only good for the kitchen. Bimbo, <laughs> how many times have I told you? Come and join the catering service. You know you're a great cook. I beg, I beg, I beg. I cannot come and kill myself, Esther. See? Working and providing for, for the family is Tunde's job. How many times am I going to tell you that the fact that Tunde has a nice paying job doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything, that you should just mm. relax? You're going to open yourself to all manner of abuse, emotional and verbal, for the real. And then today we just go around Lagos doing whatever he wants. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Oh, have you forgotten that a man's weakness is a woman? Now, Ninja, we do. Bimbo, you know that. Uh, I beg. Uh, hey, Esther, I get one hot gist. For I know, say gist, carry you Wait, come. See, <laughs> you remember uh, Kelvin and Chine that were always fighting, that we thought that they were going to divorce? Those ones that were fighting in front of their estate exactly. gates. Exactly. You know, they've they been trying to fix their marriage, but guess how? Relocating? Huh? Relocating where? Couples therapy. Can you imagine? Couples therapy. Oh, who does that? In this season of recession, everybody is trying to manage their resources. Two grown adults are going to pay a total stranger to fix their marriage. Ha. Well, that's serious. It is. We should give them props, so at least they are trying to patch things up. That's a lot. Don't tell me you're in support of that. Not in support, neither am I against it. But I would think if Nonso and I have problems that are beyond the regular marriage argument, that we should choose a more traditional way to deal exactly. with it. Exactly. It's a no no for me to carry my marital problems to, to a total stranger. And the second hand, this. People. They are professionals, though, you know that. They are just not strangers. They are really professionals. Like, they went to school to do this. Esther, that is why we have in laws to talk. Ah, ah, no go that side, though. <laughs> I don't know the kind of in laws you have. My own. Eh, eh. Don't go there. Mm. Ah. My dear. Of course. Even more than what I asked for, sir. Hey, I'm in trouble. Babe, listen. You really have to teach me how you do this, your betmatic stuff. Because 
That year, year poor. You know, say that guy, you know, they give me past 50k anytime I ask him for money. <laughs> hey, 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 it's not funny. Stop it. Sorry. Like, seriously. Sorry. <laughs> okay, tell me. So, what's the plan? Well, maybe buy my sewing machine. Okay. Order some fabrics. I've already started an Instagram account. At least that would be like a platform for me to reach out to everybody wow. around my Wow, you're really smart. I like that. Um, so, how many people are following you on Instagram? Calm down now, babe. Calm down for Jesus. I said I just opened this account an hour ago. <laughs> no. Let me tell you something, girlfriend. Mm. If you really want this business to grow, mm. you have to beg people to follow you so you can follow back. Then you can even beg all these celebrities mm. to follow you, give you a shout out. That way, your followers will increase. But you have to receive sense while doing that. I Don't beg, be a I nuisance. Beg. I beg. Which can you get? Yes, celebrities. Those people don't have anybody's time. On. So, myself, I am not seeing them. See, eh? You be like, say, you don't want this your business to go. You better swallow your pride and beg them. If not, nobody will follow you. Ah, ah. Person, just follow me now, now. You see, I told you to calm down. <laughs> When these people see my designs, they will come around. See, eh? I know say this your lay back attitude will not let you progress in life. Amaka. Ma. What can be this now? What can be what? Which can cost you to give me this early money so? I no cost you. I am just telling you the real fact. Okay. Keep your real fact inside your pocket. This is a boarding business. Four for one. getting a job I couldn't get any I took everyone's advice I started my own fashion designing business okay Do you know since I started this business I've only sold two clothes the second one I had to give it out at a giveaway price because I just wanted it to go even Instagram it's been on seven followers for the past three weeks I won't die inside seven followers <laughs> Gina big Gina I not talk him as in I not tell you but you know answer. I told you, beg celebrities to give you a shout out so that people will see you and follow you. You know answer me. Follow people and ask them to follow back. You know answer me. Now sure you don't see where your stubbornness don't land you. I beg, I beg, I beg. Which can I talk with that? Okay. I have told you. If I like make I beg these celebrities from today till tomorrow, if they won't buy my product, they wouldn't. I'll be my village but they follow me, Sha. <laughs> hey, babe. See, I tell you, eh? nobody they follow you. All you need to do is to put a little more effort and everything will be fine. Oh, that reminds me. There's this lady that comes to my office every Monday and Friday for paperwork. Mm -hmm. She supplies some bad art designers to my MD and some of our staffs. Luckily enough, she'll be coming today. And I also had she has um, two more boutiques on the island, so I will tell her about you. Are you serious? Sure. Uh, can she help? You know all these damn stock up lucky ladies. Listen, this one is quite friendly. Yeah. And then all you have to do is just offer her some percentage, and I will tell her about you that you make some good attires. Let's see if she can give you a slot in her. That boutique. would be so great. You'll do that for me? Sure, you're my favorite cousin, so I'm gonna do that for you. 
<laughs> but get ready to give her a percentage. Because in this Lagos, nothing goes for nothing. If anyone tells you that they want to do one or two things for you without collecting anything, I'm sure that person has one or two things on their sleeves. I know that one now. I'll just offer her like 15%. <laughs> this year you get long truth. 15%? No. At least you have to offer her 40%. That's if you're lucky to get a slot in her boutique. 40% K? Yes. What then is my profit? Ah, that one has slavery. you. Hm. Listen, Gina. Like I said, pray that you get a slot in her boutique. That's what you should be thinking about. Okay, chill, chill, chill. How about you help me wear one of my products? How is she going to see what I've made if you don't wear it? Yeah. Are you seriously thinking about it? Sure, I have to. Mama, can help me wear something now? Today is casual Friday. I need people's opinion to at least improve. Maybe I'm just too overconfident and my designs are not as good as I think they are. Okay, but that's what's gonna be on. It's gonna be on one condition. Okay, what's the condition? You know what I wanna wear? Mm -mm. You see that pinkish um, wrap top with a puffy hand you made? That's what I'm gonna display. That's what I wanna wear. Are you waiting for Madame Doris? Yes, she said to give her five minutes. Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, Eva. I want to take a little of your time. I really wanted to see you. What is it about? Um, okay. I have a cousin who happens to be a designer. Okay. Actually, she makes some beautiful clothes like the one I'm wearing. She made it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and she has so many of it, you know. But because she's new, we don't have anywhere to display them, showcase it for people to <laughs> see and buy. So while I was chatting up with her, I remembered you. So because I know you have like two, three boutiques in town. So, yes. so I really wanted to talk to you <laughs> to see if I can bring her. It's OK. Oh. You people can come by the shop. Wow. It's no sweat. For you? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So um, which of the shops do I bring her to? The one in Lakey Face One. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay, it's so really beautiful. Well, thanks. Look Thank you. Color. So let me tell Madame Doris that you're still waiting. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thirty percent. Yeah. Um, Madam, she meant. Um, she... Sorry. Okay, just hold on. Let's not be too fast, okay? These are sample designs, are they not? Yes. I think your prayers should just be for my customers to like them. Hmm? How much are these? 7,000 naira each. This is a little bit too cheap. You know what? Let me value this hmm? and revert back to you girls. Okay, madam. Whatever the value, I will take 10%. Yeah, I mean, she's starting. You need encouragement. Hmm? Thank you. So, I just hope people like it. Mm. Thank you so much. You have an amazing day, ladies. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you too. You. Did you make this? Yes, madam. I can make some more if you want. I like it. Maybe next time you're dropping by, bring two different colors. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Amazing day. Oh, my God.
I didn't realize your your wares were gonna sell out almost immediately. That's why I ordered the new one. Thank you. It's very impressive. So, how many did you how many did you bring for me today? I have seven for you today. What? Yeah. So you mean in the space of three days, you have made seven outfits? Yes. Wow, that's impressive. Really? Yes, it is. How much, madam? No, 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 no. Call me, Esther. Okay. For, for real, it's um, refreshing to meet a young lady who truly is not afraid of hard work. I mean, these days that uh, most girls just want to hang out and wait for men to pick up the bills, you know, foot their bills all day. Especially those ones that will not let married men rest. Sometimes it's a man. I don't understand. You can't... I think you can't really blame this man. How? Esther, this isn't really the topic I want to talk no, about. No, no, no. I want to talk about it. I mean, you already started. Why do you think the men are not to be blamed for stepping out? Well, I think sometimes the wives at home are at fault. Once they get these men hooked through marriage, they just relax. They start adding weight, wearing unfitting clothes, leaving their hair undone for a very long time, forgetting that unlike them, men are visual beings. These men need to fit their eyes every now and then. Look at these so-called side chicks. Most of them have not given birth, so they are still in shape. Yet, they go to the gym, they eat right, they change their hairdo, and they are not always exhausted and full of complaint. Men are like babies. Once they see a new toy, they toss that one, that old toy, except that old toy never loses its aesthetics. So what are you talking about? I know you wear 90s, but lately I've been forced to be used to the depressive boo-boos. First off, you have never said anything about my boo-boos. Second off, I wear them for comfort. I wasn't sure how you were taking <laughs> Why are you tally? stressing me with what I am wearing or not wearing? Aren't you supposed to go hang with the boys and be like, thank God it's Friday? Yeah, You're but not I'll going be insane out. to hang out with the boys when you're looking like that tonight. This is how I usually look, like yeah. all day, every day. I'm hanging out with you <laughs> instead. You are? That's what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely. Baby. Yeah? Come, come have um, a little bite before you leave. I made your sandwich the way you like it, tuna sandwich. Zena! Oh yeah, bring, bring the sandwich. Sit, sit, sit. What? Right. It's your favorite tuna sandwich. Ain't you going to work today? I am. I just wanted to have breakfast with you before I leave.
Really nice. Thank you. It's been a while I made that, so I'm like, let me do this today. I know. Okay. Baby, let me pass the onions. This one? Yes, thank you. Hey, baby. Yeah. Do you remember Vox? Sure, Larry Vox. Vox, now, which other Vox? You like darling Jesus? <laughs> no, I'm confused because I don't even realize you people are still talking. I mean, the last time he said he was going to deal with you and smell your... I was going to smell my ass. Thank you. I'm <laughs> glad you remember. Didn't want to say it. Over a uh, client that wanted to be stolen. It wasn't as if I stole the clients or I made any effort, but the client preferred me. He said I would smell my ass. <laughs> well, you won't be surprised. What? Well, you'll be surprised what I want to tell you now. What? You came <laughs> to apologize? I wish that was the case. Do you know that as we speak, he's being investigated by the EFCC? It's a lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Do you know that everything that belongs to him, his house, his cars, ah, that is terrible. his businesses, Everything is under lock and keys. You know oh. EFCC don't play. My God. <laughs> uh, so who's smelling whose ass now? <laughs> he's sound almost as if you're saying it's not as if, No, it's not as if I am. It's not as if I am mocking him or rejoicing over his misfortunes. No, I. I you don't look like you are. I am not. I, no, honestly, I'm not. But you see, this is how these things work. Oh. Have an amazing day. What's going on? Did you win a jackpot or something? Maybe. <laughs> Hello, madam. It's Sister Gina. I'm so happy to see you. Wow. Are my clothes doing that well? They're doing amazing. <laughs> I mean, so, oh, that reminds me. Yeah. You did not send your account details as promised. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was preoccupied with getting this. And they are ready for delivery, ma. <laughs> Obviously, you're here. How many? I brought five. Ah. Um, I remember. Do you know we didn't finish that conversation the other day? We didn't. No. Um, I thought you were kind of missing the point. Which is? That relationship is work. You know, for the two people involved. I don't know why it should be the women alone that will have to work extra hard to keep the marriage going. I mean, what about the men? Because we go through most of the changes, and men practically remain the same. They will like the same things like video games, watching football, gossip about women, boobs, ass. But for we ladies, once we get married, the phone conversations drift to my husband this, my husband that, the kids, our boobs sag, we begin to experience changes. <laughs> you know, the struggle becomes real to stay in vogue, you know? <laughs> You are young. Trust me, the changes are both ways. Let's be honest, Esther. Let me ask you. When last did you and your husband have spontaneous hot steaming sex initiated by you? When last did he come home to scented candles laying out, background romantic music, <laughs> and you dressed in something really sexy and hot? Huh? Scented candles? Who has time for all those kind of things? Those are the things you do in relationship, not marriage. That's the point. Exactly. You do not let these factors kill that spark in your marriage. Whether you like it or not, your husband is your priority. And you are his before the kids. Hmm. Whatever you say, Esther. Whatever you say. And, um... <laughs> 
I like having you around. I have this, um, it's a baby shower. Okay. This weekend, and I'm invited. I'm allowed to come with someone. I don't want to go alone. Are you game? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll love to. Okay. So I send you the details, the address and all that. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, mother. Thank you. I'll take my leave now. All right. I'll call you. I'll text your account number to you. Please do. Okay, mm. have a nice day. I'll see you by the weekend. Hug, hug. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you. Thank you. Okay, okay. I want to show you my wedding anniversary gown. Okay. I need your honest opinion. I'm here. Let's bring it on. <sighs> so. Sister, do her homework, please. Come on, get up now. Go now. Good girl. Asta. Asta, wake up and let's go to the gym. Oh, I'm so they mean. Nice. I literally did all the work in the house. You know that um, Zainab is not feeling too fine. So trust me, I've done my own gym. Typical you. You will never change. Always finding excuses when it's time to go to the gym. What's wrong with you? Come on. Okay. First of all, I do enough work, okay? If you look at my work, running around and then taking care of you and your children, mm. that is enough exercise. Mm. Yes, you are talking as if I don't know that gym and exercising is just 30% of the work. Really? Dieting is the 70%. Yes, that's the main work. Trust me, <laughs> I have this down. That's the one you will read, Lazy Bones. Continue with your excuses while I'm gone. Let me go and work out. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Let's go. Go where? Isn't this what you've always wanted? Oh, well, it, uh, it is. But the last time we did this together, I remember you were saying that your heart was tearing out of your chest and that your legs were giving way. So, which one is this one now? It's, let's just go. Hey. You nag me about going to the gym. Today gym. Now me. you're not happy. Today will be easy. Please, I, I don't make don't, don't make fun of me. I will try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Instead. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my God. 
No, baby, this is it. This is it. Where is it? Uh huh. I knew it. I knew I filed this receipt somewhere. Can you imagine? If I didn't find this receipt now, it would have been a disaster. Look at the outstanding the guy is huge outstanding and he's claiming that he's paid it. You know what you do, eh? What? Just use your phone. Take the picture the way it is. Send it to him. Let's end the argument. Ah, that's very smart of you. That's me. You love accolades, don't you? I do. <laughs> okay. Seriously, so. you've been home lately these days. What's going on? Isn't that what you've always been praying for? Uh-huh. But why? You know why, don't you? No, I don't. You want, me, you want me to show you why? I know. <laughs> Take the picture. Send the picture first. It's important. I've sent it. He sent it. What do you mean am I okay? I'm okay. Gina, you better talk to your girlfriend. You've been moody since you came back. What's going on? It's not so. Not so? Again? What happened this time? Did you guys fight? No, but for some reason he's been avoiding me. I've been the one doing most of the calling lately. I'm not kidding. I just feel like he has found another one. Hey. Gina, wait till they do you. Gina, why they para for this man matter like this now? Why? Eh? If they do like this, wait till the wife, the original owner, wait till she go do. Why they do like this? Don't you think he might be busy with work or, or his business? Busy? He's not. The non so I know always makes out time for me. <laughs> the guy don't find another baby. Don't you hey. think so? You're just having all this in your head. She. Yes. In my head. What am I even saying? Wait. Let me dial his number so you see for yourself. Come. Thank you. Why? Why? I'm always home now. Wait. Who is calling your phone by this time? Wait. Don't worry. It's uh. It's you, my family. Oh, Jay Mechanic, um, it's, um, I promised him, it's the guy that was supposed to fix my G-Wagon now. I told him I was supposed to import the parts, but I still haven't imported it. Why is he calling you at this uncommon hour? A mechanic? Yes. He's desperate for the job now. This thing doesn't mean anything. Then he yeah. should stick to working hours, like they business they hours. No, for real. All these kind of people, you need to state it out. Like, I'll this is when to call from now to. I will let him, I will let him. Don't bother your head. Don't bother your head. Let me show you. You see, I thought you said no, so don't find another baby with a busting head. Babe. Don't you think he might not be with his phone and he's taking his evening shower? <laughs> evening shower my foot. The you know, so I know. Always makes out time for me no matter what. Man, the way we they talk this thing, he be like say that true. But you know what you go do, babe? You have to up your game. Because as he be so, he be like say this story won't get as he won't be. You understand? So what you go do, we say, you go go arrange one kayamata, buy him. Put her for your thing so that we go plan for her. Any day we just enter. Babe, you know go reason any other babe. Eh? But we go pity and make it just be you and your wife. Any other babe, you know go see. Because if you quarrel with this guy, beg it don't happen. No. Who gonna pay our rent? Me, I'm already go back to that to Coco Michael. Yeah. Ha! Why you know they use your kafa? So that waiting they worry you so. Wait, wait till you won't make it they worry me. I they talk as if they do me oh. Unless you're ready to go back to Komokumaiko. For me, now this lucky now I go die soon. So, I have a con confession. <laughs> what is it? I've been taking everything we talk about and applying it in my marriage. I know. 
I mean, anytime you see me, you always want to initiate that topic. It's quite obvious. I didn't know I was that obvious. Yes, you were. <laughs> Well, my confession is that it is working. So, any more tips? Mm. Yeah, have you ever gone on a getaway with your husband? I mean, without the kids? <laughs> For the life of me, I can't remember the last time we were anywhere together, just the two of us. Then surprise him. Choose a good resort here in Lagos. Get a good weekend and go. I might just do that. Yeah, you should. At least it will rekindle that fire you need in your marriage. Hmm. <laughs> You're really talented. <laughs> I know. Oh God, <laughs> young people take learn how to take compliments. Baby, are you free this weekend? Well, um, not really. Just say a couple of meetings here and there. Uh, but why? I was thinking Priscilla can come stay the weekend with the kids and I will take you somewhere. Take me somewhere? Mm hmm. Where is that? It's a surprise. Really? Yes. Well, in that case, I can clear up the schedule and be available for the outing. How's that? Friday it is. <laughs> Friday? It's interesting. <laughs> Who is this and what have you done <laughs> to my wife? Priscilla will be here later in the day. Okay. Um, please let them always go to the playground. Okay, ma'am. Hmm? Okay. What else? What else? What else? Ah. Gabriela has um, uh, a piano lesson. Don't worry. Priscilla will drive her there. Mm. I think that's about it. Now, what room should I prepare for Sister Priscilla? The visitor's room. Okay. Ah, Esther, let's go now. I don't have energy for labor, so okay. traffic. You have this, right? Okay. 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 <laughs> Impatience. <laughs> How was your trip? It was amazing. We truly needed that. Thank you so much for suggesting it. It's nothing. <laughs> oh my God, the way he looked at me. You know, he has never looked at me that way. <laughs> it's almost as if we were just dating all over again. And there I was thinking I'd lost this man. Thank you for suggesting that too. It was amazing. I had an amazing time. Hi. Are you okay? You've been kind of moody. Is everything okay? No. It's my boyfriend. I don't know, for some reason, he's been acting strange. He doesn't call me anymore. He doesn't pick my calls. Even when he does, he speaks as if I'm forcing him to converse with me. I'm so worried. As you know, you're an amazing girl. Hmm? Anyone can see that. Don't worry, he will come around. He always do. Okay. So, enough about me. Let's focus on you now. <laughs> you see, that's how it's supposed to be. I feel like if most of these married women could do these things for their husbands, these men don't have a reason to look out to other women. <laughs> You're not 100% accurate, but there's some truth in that. Mm-hmm. And the sex was amazing. <gasps> You don't have to tell me about the sex. I know. Maybe 
you could like give me tips on how I can make it more. How do young guys say this? Is more lit. Auntie, can you not say lit? <laughs> you went straight to Auntie Esther. Immediately I said lit. I will say lit. It's awkward. Please. <laughs> You know, I don't know where you stay up to now. Uh -uh. We can go now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I have chocolate. No, 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 no. I'm on a diet. Okay. Protein. That's all I'm doing. I'll make you smoothie. After this? No. Netflix or fit. <laughs> ah, I just blend it. <laughs> we can go. I saw a woman, so I picked it to me. I'm sorry, I need to take this call. It's not true. Shh. I don't want to hear you. Okay. Hello, babe. Yeah, what's up? Uh, yes, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Any problem? Okay, I'll see you then in 15 minutes, okay? Love you, baby. All right, take care. Gina, are you okay? Yes. You want something? Good. No, sir. Yeah? Why have you been avoiding me? I had to practically beg you to see you today. Is that fair? Gina, I don't understand this your incessant questioning. I don't owe you any explanation whatsoever, Gina. We are in this thing together, and I believe that you understand the terms. There is no basis for this harassment. Please. Hello, Esther. Oh, Gina. What to you? Uh, what are these? Gina? Gina? Yes. Um, okay. I was asking what this are. Okay, this is a kimono. This one is a skirt. No, sorry. A skirt and... This is a gown. Of... Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Are you all right? Yes, I am. You know you can tell me anything. <laughs> I am. I want to say thank you. Nonso? Yeah? How come today is the first day I'm seeing your wife's picture? You don't even use her as your display picture like other regular man married men do. <laughs> Gina. Mm. You know I'm a very principled man. I don't mix things up. And besides, why should I be showing you my, the picture of my wife? It is utterly disrespectful to her. Disrespecting, she? Yes. Hmm. Gina, how many times do you need me to tell you that the fact that you and I are having this thing together does not mean that I don't love my wife or will not give me any reason to disrespect my wife? Yes. I am not like those pot belly men who go about and spreading lies and everything. I have told you, you know the terms, and you know. So why all this drama? I have told you time and again, whenever you find a young man that you like, just let me know. Provided he is not, uh, a, you don't go about cheating and messing around behind me, because that's how we condone. <laughs> Are you serious? Go about cheating. How do I even cheat on someone else's husband? And you're not even married to me and I'm cheating on you. Regina. Regina. Yeah. Sorry. You are off today. What's going on? I'm okay. Um, can I make a call? Absolutely. Alright. Esther, I just wanted to know that you're a very good person. 
please do not let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. Thank you. Guess who Esther's husband is? Esther. Esther. Which is as an Esther that owns the boutique? Esther boutique. Guess who her husband is? <laughs> Please now. Why did they talk? How, how I won't take now a bewinch? I be a resemble her mama. Who is her husband? Talk to me, I beg. Nonso. Wait. Your nonso? Yes, my nonso. Hey! hey. Yeah, why don't gas be that too? Hey. So, what do we do? I don't know. Hey. I don't this know. Is not good, huh? Oh, maybe you should tell me. What? That's not a good idea. Please. Oh my God. So Amaka, I feel like a horrible person. This woman has been so good to me. You calm down now. Calm down. How are you supposed to know that you were strapping your, your, your madam's husband? Calm down. Do you think this is a joke? Oh, I don't talk say you did joke. All I'm saying is that you did too carry this matter for head. Because other girls, they do these things every day knowingly and they don't send anybody. In this case, you don't know. So chill. And they get mad at you. You see anything how you want to take reason or anything where you did do? No try to break up with them also. Because as I did this lucky. They enjoy this lucky big girl thing while they do. I'm not ready to go back to that Okoko Michael. Get it into your head. Hello, Gina. How are you? Busy? No, I'm not. Why? I'm sorry. That's not possible. Bye. <laughs> Calm down. I'm on my way to you. Yes, you'll see me in a bit. Right? Yep. Oh God, this girl forgot her check. I'll drop it on the way then. you can say so you can't fight for what we share is that what you're telling me I understand go home and focus on your wife and kids <sighs> I see go home and focus on your wife and kids when did you become so thoughtful Gina Is the little boy involved in this whole equation? That is why you are now the one telling me to go and focus on my family. Thank you. What do you want from me, Nonso? Eh? No, be you to say you not do again. No problem. Go in peace and focus on your wife and your kids. Ah? Are you my oxygen? Do I need you to breathe? Wait, see, you won't make her beg you. I have heard all you have to say, Gina. Okay? Thank you very much. Well, let me tell you something. If that little boy breaks your heart, please don't come running to me. Do you understand? Let me ask you something. The phone you are using, who bought it for you? The car you drive, did you buy it yourself? Should I go on? Or oh, how about the business? It's giving you all this confidence now. That you become an international fashion designer. Who's responsible for it? 
Gina, listen. I, I just realized that you have amnesia. And it's a terrible thing. Okay. My talent has nothing to do with it, Abby. I've seen you. Giver of talent. You're now my god. Now, carry your big bones and get out of my house. Get the hell out of my house, no Have so some respect while speaking to me, young lady. Hey, yeah. See, person with me and I just trap finish. You're looking for respect. Come, sit here. Come on, collect it. Listen. Get out. Gina, I don't care about all of you, this drama. Hmm. But I've told you before and I'll tell you again. That we having this nonsense together does not translate to me not loving my wife. Go home to your wife. Not so get out of my house. So where do you think I was heading to? Go home. I am going home to my wife. Okay, move before I move you. You didn't say that at all. You don't reach heaven. Don't be by high toe. See your yellow. See your collar. Get out. Just there, make I not move you. Go home. Go home. Get out of my house. Oh. <laughs> Gina. Your house. This house that I paid the rent for is your house? <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, Let's see your shoe. <laughs> Look at this one. Your mates are buying houses for women in Banana Island. Your mates are tearing GLA cook for their girlfriends. Oh. You're making my thing by touch or touch. Get out of my house before I move you. Move, man, move. Human beings will never, ever disappoint you. Nasty ingrates. Yes, get out of my house. You didn't know I was an ingrate when you broke up with me five minutes after you were all up in my business. Abby, get out. What's wrong with you? I said move. I'll light you. Lightning? Are you lightning now? Lightning. Get out of my house. Keep off me. Move, move, move. I said move. Move, oh. Chase them as we they go like this, and they follow them. I don't know where to, I even if I block, I don't know where to talk. I don't know what to tell her. Eh? So, I'm dumb or that format no gel now, okay? Like, why you they form my hand like this now? That format no gel, this is a serious matter. I go tell her, you don't remember seeing the house, that me and the foot, the bill inside the house. Eh? 
Now me and them, eh, now we don't remember say the mortgage. I just knew that saying she even pay part of the mortgage now for the house. I would tell Uncle Tell and that I want, eh? Caleb, I, uh, uh, Caleb, no now. Uh, um, you know what? I'm not calling back. I, I want. I need to think. Have I warned you to stop policing me around Esther? How many times are you fooling me? You don't press! <laughs> Do you know what just happened? No, so are you trying to turn this around somehow to be my fault? Is that what you're doing? Your piano lesson. Okay, take the case to the playground. Now! Hey, hey, no, sir, we're not done. What just happened? Esther, did you just slap me? And I will slap you again if you don't start telling me what I want to hear. I just caught you red-handed or did the breeze blew and uh, flew you and you landed on top of another woman is that what you're trying to say <clears throat> baby please don't touch me I've... tell me what I want to hear tell me what I want to know I went there to end things with that girl <laughs> That's the first please. thing you say. Oh, God! Honestly, I... Please, you... Oh, this is not happening with you. Shut up! You're still it's leading not what you with think. that. <laughs> ha! You don't know her name suddenly. I said I don't care about her name. Her name is Gina. I don't Regina. care. Regina! How long has this... How did you even know where I was? How did you know her? I said, how long? This isn't important. It's, how long it's going on is not important. Is it? Is you know what? Get out. What? Get the hell out of my house this minute. You're kicking me out of our house. <laughs> okay. You, you want to try me, Abby? No, Esther. It's can't. like you don't know the woman you married. You can't. You want to try me? Will you sincerely sleep here tonight? Defenseless. Try me. It hasn't come to. Try me! Let's see if you will sleep and wake up. Also, get out. I am still waiting. I'm so get out. Move! I would like. Not so move! Let me, let me explain. You want to beat me? Let me explain. Do you want to beat me? I said leave!
next time. Please, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I don't want the children coming in and start asking where I have been. And that's why I can't afford to stay away for more than a day. And so I've come to really, really apologize to you. Please, I am sorry. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. Anything. Yes, anything. We had to couples therapy then. Couples what? Over my dead body. You want me to go and sit down on the couch and discuss all my life's issues with a total stranger? I can't do that. I can't do that. What do you mean couples therapy? Our parents sorted their issues out without the interference or intervention of any, any therapist. There's no way we are going to go and sit down and discuss our issues with a, 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 a total stranger, all in the name of therapists. What nonsense. Your issue. Because you're the one running around town, around with little girls. I know. Guilty as charged. But there has to be any other alternative, you, su you should suggest something else. Definitely not therapy. Period. If therapy is your only option, then please gladly bring the, 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 the divorce papers. I'm going to sign them. Okay, then. Fine. The only way I can go to any couple's therapy is in a body bag. So, Mr. and uh, Mrs. Wanko, can you tell me why you're here? But wait, don't be in a haste to give me an answer. Um, I would have you know that whatever answer you give now will determine how your counseling session would go. Okay. We're here because my husband can't keep it in his pants. Oh, whoa, whoa. Language, please. Language. I understand that you're upset, and I'm sure you have a very, very valid reason to be, but I would also like to remind you that Anda has never done anything for anyone. Okay? Please? Okay, so, um, Mr. Wango, can you please tell me why we're here? Um, <coughs> my wife has said it all. She dragged me down here because she believes we need help. But if you ask me, in my opinion, we are doing just fine. So, um... Can you tell me three things you admire most in your husband? Well, he knows how to prioritize. He's a good organizer and he's a good father. Okay. Mr. Wanko, can you tell me... Can you tell me three things you admire the most in your wife? She's a good uh, mother to our children. She's hardworking. I mean, she's not like uh, one of the, all those women who just like eat, sleep, and do nothing but get fat. She's not. But it's just that sometimes, sometimes, she can be absent-minded. Do you hear yourself? And she... Do you hear yourself? 
Let me finish now. Okay, okay finish. She can be very absent minded. And then she does not give me attention. I don't give you I attention. I put it to you that you don't give me attention. Hey, go. Okay, you don't. I have been paying so much attention to you in the last month. Trying to rebuild this thing called marriage. And you're sitting down here saying, I don't pay your attention. What are you, six? I don't pay your attention. Are you kidding? Okay. Okay. Um. Esther, you have changed. I put it to you that you have changed. You remember how we, we promised ourselves when we started this thing? That we will not be one of those couples who just who will neglect each other and, and, and hurt each other. You have changed. You have departed from what we agreed. First of I, all, it's, it's, it's easier said than done, okay? See, this man wants us to club, to party every Friday. What is wrong with we that? Are, we, are, we are parents. What is wrong with that? We have children What is wrong age. with that? Let me finish. What, what, finish what? Okay. Finish the rubbish I say here. Excuse me. What is wrong with God? Partying and twerking or whatever rubbish should that be a priority to a married man? Okay. Like why, why, what is wrong with that? I have always been I love so I married you. Before I married you and when I met you, we were like that. I used to party, I used to club, I used to dance, I used to drink. Do you want to change me? You must go to the club. You must not you 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 want to go to club because you just don't want to lose weight. Okay. You don't what, want did to lose you weight. Just what did you just say? Okay. Hey, 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 hey. My name what is. What did you just say? No, no, no. Give me just now. Okay. You judge this. Okay. Okay. Is there anything wrong with clubbing? Don't you see married couples who go to club? Okay. Okay. Don't you see married couples who go to club? Uh, just, Listen, okay. this woman is not helping in matters. Women, they don't help their husband. They grow fat. They lose everything that attracted us. And uh, therapists, when you look left, you look right. Internet and television, you will see slave queens everywhere. Eh, hey, slave queens. Tempting man. Slave queen kill you there. Okay, okay. Slave queen kill you there. Okay. 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 Mr. and Mrs. Wankwa! Mr. and Mrs. Wankwa! Okay. 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 Can I get informal with you? Can I call you Nonso? No problem, please. No, go ahead. Nonso, how often would you say you and um, Esther fight? Not so often. I could say two to three times in a week. That's in a bad week. But usually she, sometimes she chooses to ignore me. But most times she does it. So how would you say this affects your intimacy with her? Quite frankly, it doesn't. I mean, she does her wifely duties very, very well in the other room. <laughs> um, okay, so, no, so if everything is fine and almost perfect, why did you cheat? Am I alone here? Everything you stay in this room remains here. Okay, I'll tell you, quite frankly, it was strictly physical. I had no emotional connection with that girl whatsoever. As a matter of fact, things were getting better between my wife and I. I had gone to her house on the fateful day to break up things with her. But unfortunately, you know how devil was. My wife popped up at the door, inexplicably, unannounced, and caught me red-handed. Um, not so. What would you say that you want from your marriage now? <clears throat> Madam, honestly speaking, I love my wife. So, Esther, how would you describe your communication with your husband? It's great. I mean, 
he's an intelligent man, so there's always something to talk about. But lately, he just has been so distant. I find myself working extra hard, trying to keep him in the present. But you know how tiring it is when you're the only one working hard to make a relationship work? Um, how, how do you feel on a daily basis? I mean, seeing everything that is happening you know, within the marriage, how does this make you feel? Angry. Like I'm very upset. Like I'm mad. It's exhausting. It's exasperating. We're supposed to be a team. And we're not. We're not. Esther. What would you say you want now concerning your marriage? You have to think hard about it. be the only one working this hard to make a relationship work. I don't. All right. There you go, Stella. Stella, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll definitely hmm? come back with this. I know. You'll be looking at it. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. What are you doing here? I came to see you, Esther. And say what exactly? That you got close to me in order to sleep with my husband? No. To take over my home? No, no, no. I've always known him, so I've known him way before I met you. I never knew he's your husband, I swear. Oh, really? So that explains sleeping with a married man? No, I know no amount of sorry would justify what I did, but I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I hope you know that you're not bringing anything back here to come and serve. That's not why I came. I just came to say sorry, even if you don't want to do business with me again. You are a very good woman. One knows one. I heard was just... Um, let me stop you right there. The fact that you slept with my husband don't translate to you knowing anything about my marriage. Oh. No soul loves you. That's one thing that I know. He never disrespected you in front of me. You are a good woman. What are you doing? You don't deserve this. Esther. Will you stop embarrassing me? You deserve the best. I know your type. Please. You're all over social media. Uh, uh, side chick gang, side chick whatever rubbish. I know what you're doing. It's not working. Please. I know even if you don't want to do business with me again, I'm good. I just want you to forgive me. Okay. I won't be able to live with myself again. Boy, you don't have any problems living with people's husband and you are living with yourself just fine. Yes, sir, please. You can go. You have apologized. Let me not see you anywhere near no so. Please. Because I will not just kill him. They will look for you in Lagos. You need all this. And I'm taking you straight to him. Why are you home early? Well, there wasn't much to do at the dealership today. Hmm. Girls, go have your bath. Come down for supper. Okay, Mom. Gabriela, are you just going to pretend you didn't hear me and be on your phone? Go have your bath. I will soon take that phone from you. Zainab! 
Zenav isn't home. I asked her to buy me paracetamol from the pharmacy downstairs, down the street. Hey, Esther. Esther, please, I'm sorry. I know. But sorry is not going to fix this. Then what's going to fix it? I don't know, Nonso. I don't know. You know I love you unconditionally, and you know it. We fighting and not talking to each other, living like strangers and enemies, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to make things better. So, when next? Esther, please. Please forgive me. We need to move on. I am sincerely sorry. I swallow every bit of my masculine pride tonight. And I'm begging you to please, please, please take me back. Um, I miss you so much. I miss you terribly. And when next a sexy lady comes along, then what? We cannot move forward if we keep going back and forth with all the negativities. Let's focus in the here and now. Let's forget the past. I know it's hard, but you can do it for me. You once loved me, and I know that you still do love me. Please. We can't afford to risk everything. Look at our two beautiful daughters. Look at everything we have accomplished together as a couple. I mean, you and I are a spectacular, magnificent couple together. People used to look up to us. Where is all that now? Are we going to let pride ruin everything we've labored for from day one? Reservation. I made reservation and uh, I don't know. But... Where? Reservation where? Then uh, the Chinese place you love. Oh. Rose petals. What's all this? The anniversary. Oh, come on. You forgot? It's just that I didn't expect it to be this elaborate. I just wanted to do something different. Oh, this is really different. Not just different, but extremely special. Thank you so much. Henceforth, we should just 
focus on us. Shut the world out. Let's be more intimate. Let's be more into each other. That's why I'd rather be home with you tonight on a special night like this. Just the two of us. I like that. The world can wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>